Hey guys, Dan Philosopher here, match the name, just going to go over my latest map pack here. Uh, so we've got another one in the Forest Path series, so I'll be putting together a number of uh, uh, forest oriented maps. Uh, so uh, this is the Forest Road, uh, Forest Path Crossroads, uh, and it also comes with a, a camp version as well. Uh, so let's jump in and have a look at this map. Uh, so you, obviously you've got a crossroad go, uh, running uh, west to east and north to south. Um, it's a pretty dense forest uh, with a lot of rocky debris debris and so on like that strewn about the place. So this is uh, the, the gridded version. Uh, you can see that if you zoom in here uh, that the map maintained its definition. Uh, so you definitely you got the detail to run quite a large encounter space here. It's about 85 by 45 uh, in size, uh, 16 by 9 uh, ratio that is um, and uh, so so definitely a, a good location for an encounter whether you're waiting to ambush somebody or the PCs um, or you know just uh, running into travelers and the like um, plus all manner of creatures and some of that would uh, love to ambush and wait and ambush uh, around a crossroads um, so uh, so that, that's the the daytime gridded map the daytime gridless map the nighttime gridded map and the nighttime gridless map uh, I also have uh, point of view shots which make good uh, player handouts um, just to set the scene and to, and to orient the, the characters um, so that um, so, so that they can sort of visualize themselves in um, in, um, in, in the scene as such. Uh, so these uh, step through the path until you get to the crossroads. You can see here it's looking south down there and uh, east in that direction. And then here it's looking north and east again. Um, and uh, there's a sort of a shot from within the tree line uh, looking out should the players be waiting to, to jump somebody as such um, as well as an oblique angle of the crossroads itself uh, now we have exactly the same shots uh, but taken at night time um, so same location same angles and the like as the daytime ones just um, with with uh, emphasizing the shadows and the darkness and, and the lack of vision really um, now if you have characters that have dark vision then you might want to give the ones with dark vision the light map uh, point of view handouts and the characters without dark vision these dark ones so uh, that way the, the characters themselves uh, see the difference itself um, so this is uh, uh, the, the same uh, map but with an, a camp down here in the lower corner so whether that's the players um, camping here um, or, or the, there's an encampment which the characters will approach. Uh, so you can see here that there's uh, actually quite a, a good uh, tree shield there, a uh, very large rock there which uh, sort of uh, blocks most of the light coming out. Uh, but as we see with the point of view shots, um, that's the gridless map, um, nighttime and nighttime gridless map. Uh, as we see with the point of view shots, especially the nighttime ones, this shot here you can just see the, the light reflecting off a stone. Um, so that's sort of the hint and the giveaway. And then there's some sort of approach shots from the tree line uh, before you look at the camp you know, un unhindered by trees. Um, here we've got some oblique shots of the camp. So this is sort of in the bottom left corner looking up and then uh, sort of looking from the top of the map down. You can see uh, the the, the camp as well. So the nighttime shots definitely highlight the, the light and how the light plays off the surroundings um, and, and so, so it sets an ominous tone. If the players were camped here then you can see that it's just darkness lying beyond the trees so quite quite ominous. Um, and uh, so that is the forest path crossroads map. Uh, there's a, I've also done a straight path and a curved path uh, map again with camps in there so we, we, when, you, when you combine them you can definitely uh, envision having the players run through uh, the, the uh, a forest environment with different looking camps and uh, sort of utilizing different parts of the maps for, for your purposes um, so you can find that on RPG now um, or I'll post a link to that underneath my YouTube clip and um, otherwise I hope it uh, expands your gameplay uh, gives you confidence to run multiple encounters with uh, a variety of scenery um, and, and layouts uh, for your characters in the forest. Um, so uh, thanks for listening and happy gaming people.